How does an action potential become a signal? Ryan from Bootcamp here, and let's talk about the details of synaptic transmission that you absolutely need to know to ace your DAT. So when we're trying to make an action potential into a signal, the first thing that needs to happen is our action potential needs to arrive at the presynaptic axon terminal. When this action potential arrives at the presynaptic terminal, our calcium channels are going to open up and allow calcium to flow into the axon. Calcium entering the neuron allows the vesicles containing the neurotransmitter to fuse with the membrane and release their neurotransmitter. When these vesicles release the neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft, this neurotransmitter can then bind to the postsynaptic neuron and make a graded potential. This graded potential in the postsynaptic neuron can then go on to fire another action potential and therefore repeat this entire process over and over. If you want to know more about synaptic transmission in the nervous system, be sure to head over to bootcamp.com forward slash DAT.